Hey guys, I'm going to be showing you how to make a drawing base Reese base um, using free FL Studio, which means uh, basically no add ons or plugins that you have to buy. So, um, what you're primarily going to use is 3x oscillator here. So, open this up. <clears throat> what you're going to do is that you're going to pick two uh, saw waves here. And for third oscillator, just turn the volume all the way down. Um, for fine tuning, uh, for the two oscillators, you want to put this one, top one at negative 15, and second one at positive 15. And it should sound like this. Yeah, so that's a bit high. So um, what you're going to do is that you're basically going to uh, use your right mouse button and put it in the C6 range. So let's put it, I don't know, here, which is actually my favorite spot, the G6. So yeah, it sounds pretty good. Um, next two tabs, you're not really going to use them. Um, if you want to, you can put a slide on, but if you are, you're going to put it right in that middle notch there. And then once you're done with that, put the effects to uh, slot 1 or 2 or 3 or whatever. I don't care. So let's open this up. Now this right here are all the effects that you are going to use. Um, so sound goodizer. Basically, it's going to leave that uh, default when you open it up. Uh, you can like lower it down or raise it up. I don't care. Um, but mainly in the default section. Um, Maximus, uh, basically you want to put it either at Clear Master RMS for presets or preset B. Either one will do fine. Um, let's put it at Clear Master and uh, turn that on. This is what it sounds like. <laughs> And without them, what basically does is that it uh, boosts it up a little bit, boosts the sound and stuff like that. Um, for a parametric EQ, basically want to make it look like this, where two high fre two highest frequencies are uh, basically in this slope pattern, I guess, and the lowest frequency is down here. Um, Turn that on, and for, uh, for the fast distortion, um, you want to put it either at compressor or overdrive. Uh, either one will do fine. Let's put it at uh, overdrive for now. And um, this is what it sounds like with the two. Yeah, it's pretty grimy now. <laughs> um, so, uh, what you're going to do now is that um, you're going to use Fruity Chorus and you're going to put it at Light HF, but you can really put it at anything you want to. Uh, light HF sounds the best, but do not put it to Filtro because it sounds like this. Yeah, so don't use it. Um, yeah, so put let's put it at like HF for now. And it sounds like this. You don't really have to put in the chorus, but because it sounds pretty good without it, but if you want to, and just go for that extra mile, <laughs> uh, put it in there. Just for the hell of it. Um, now we go to the EQO. I think that's how it's pr uh, pronounced. But I'm honestly not sure. Uh, so you basically want to make it look like this, where <clears throat> the lower frequencies are boosted. Same thing with the higher frequencies. Um, you can also like boost up the middle frequencies a tad bit. Uh, but <clears throat> do whatever you want to. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, <laughs> and for a final one, just put in fruity limiter. And that should basically be it. 
Um, but for the, like, like I said before, for the presets, um, basically just go crazy with them. I just pick the ones that sound the best, uh, from my point of view. But, uh, yeah. So I got Reese Baseline here. This is what it sounds like. Hold on. Pardon for the inconvenience. This has like been happening to me for a while, where like this thing and this thing are like all the way down. But um, this is what it sounds like. Be sure to make the beats per minute at around 170 to 180. So yeah, um, I also got a standard drum and bass uh, drum beat here. Yeah, nothing really too special, and um, this is what it sounds like with it, with it all together and stuff. And um, just for the hell of it, I also got another example here on my SoundCloud. Uh, this is what. Uh, this is from my newest song, Chernobyl. Uh, it's on my YouTube and obviously my SoundCloud. Um, so uh, this is what it sounds like on this song. You can also uh, mess around with like the pitch of it by... Um, going into 3x oscillator, tuning this one down to 11, because this stands for octaves, so tunes down to 11 octaves, and so let's put it This is also great for like any other synth, you could um, do it for like buildups, like um, a bunch of camo and crooked uh, buildups and stuff. Uh, yeah, you could do that. Um, I also got an example of that. I think it's right here. Not sure. Hold on. Yeah, where it like, like from high note and like smooth down to a lower note and stuff like that. But. You could do that with a Reese, that sounds pretty damn cool. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's really all I have to show you for now. And, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, also, um, pro tip for a master slot, uh, put in Sound Godizer, because it just makes every instrument and effect that you have just sound obviously a lot better because it's sound good eyes there but uh yeah also another thing if your Reese uh, seems to be overpowering your other instruments don't turn this one down don't turn this knob down um, uh, slide this one down uh, and it's just because when you turn this one down uh, it's like the sound, like the sound of a w of the waves, not like with the effects, but with the waves, it just goes down. But with this, when you turn it down, like everything turns down. So, uh, yeah, do that if your Reese seems to be overpowered and stuff. So, yeah, uh, that's basically it, and have a nice day.